Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a little bit weird of a setup. Um, I'm in my mother's room because it has the best lighting. I'm just sitting on the floor next to my sister's car part. So that's my background and my recording as I pre-warned on my personal channel will be a little off lately because I am in the transition of moving. I moved to this city and now I'm just waiting to start my job save up and then move to an apartment in this city so it's a little bit roundabout and messy and my recording quality will not be the best it was never the best but it will be um a little bit more unstable and shaky so if you can see my cat This week on Virtual Oasis is throwback and advice you'd give your younger self. And honestly, there's so much I would tell my younger me, so I decided to record outside to decrease the chance of people walking in on me, but I'm not quite sure it's going to work out well. This week on Virtual Oasis, our theme is throwback slash what advice you would give your younger self. And honestly, I think there's so much that younger me could have benefited from. I think um, younger me was more reckless, more impulsive, definitely more hot-headed. And in general, I had a lot of unrealistic expectations on how my life was going to go. <laughs> and I think because of that, I am suffering in consequence, as I rightfully should. Um, I thought I heard something. We have some wild cats that hang out in my mom's backyard. Um, uh, I think some of the first things I would tell myself is not to be in a rush to grow up. I know this is cliche and a lot of people say it, but I think when you hit 18, there's this urgency to be independent and you have like set goals for your life of what you want to accomplish and they're not necessarily going to fall into place like that there's a lot of things you need to be a successful fully capable adult and at 18 i don't think a lot of people are equipped with those uh talents and skills i wasn't and i was one of those people who thought i was going to move out and be on, totally on my own not fall on my face and never look back and I still have some of those qualities like there's still this urgency to be able to go explore the world and not look back but I think my approach on it I just had to change the camera a little bit but I think my approach on it now is a lot more slow paced and not gonna set me up for failure um that, I bet it sounds like really loud out here with me and then it's just hot and I'm wearing a hoodie I've been wearing this hoodie all the time as you guys can probably tell so some other advice I would give myself or maybe yeah I would give me is to maintain the friendships you want to maintain uh, I'm not a person who's good at keeping in touch. I don't message frequently, I don't message often, and I don't answer the phone. And that's part of being introverted and not really wanting to be bothered 23 hours out of the day. <laughs> um, and I think I have to change that because I just don't necessarily regret it because I know I would be friends still with the people who are meant to be in my life. I definitely believe in that those who are supposed to be in your life will stay in your life and those who aren't will go and that's how life is and the people who go just aren't worth the effort it is to care and be sad about them leaving and I think that I would oh my god that was a B I think I would tell younger me to make more friendships and people in my life even if they aren't gonna stay there and not to be afraid of losing those people Younger me needs to know not to be reckless, hot-headed, and not to break hearts. <laughs> not to leave behind a trail of people you've hurt 
because you can hurt them and you don't want to be hurt so you might as well do it first yeah I would definitely tell younger me not to do that um, it's not nice karma will catch up on you and in reality is the only reason you're hurting those people is because you're scared and younger me was such a different person but such the same person I definitely had some issues and some of those issues aren't resolved yet but some I'm getting there and I just wish I could go back and treat those around me nicer with more consideration and not with that reckless youthful indifference that I had because I look back on it in shame and embarrassment and it's sometimes hard to think that I did some of the things I did I'd never I just definitely didn't intentionally do things but I did things that were tactless and tasteless and could have been done much, much better. So I think this is all for me, otherwise I will keep rambling. Um, I will see you guys in my future videos and be sure to subscribe to the Virtual Oasis family and be sure to check out the other people's videos. I'm, I'm definitely interested in seeing what they're going to put for the subject this week and I will see you guys on my main channel this weekend and then on Tuesdays again here so stay tuned subscribe and definitely leave comments of lessons that you've learned uh, as growing up and just things you wish you would have known and mistakes you would have avoided as kids because I think everybody has them and mine my younger self definitely could have used some of this advice so I'll see you guys next week and have a great day. No, no he he.